stays to himself. He doesn't like associate with anyone because he's too busy being online. Discriminated against, arrested, beaten. And I felt the gun to my head. That's what woke me up because I'm a pretty sound sleeper. I'm Shamrock and I'm a hacker. It's like being God. If I had the opportunity to show off all the power in the city right now, do you think I would do it? We want on our laptop to know the location of every squad car within the nearest vicinity. What people don't understand, they fear. Hackers break into government and business computers, stealing and destroying information, raiding bank accounts, running up credit card charges. Young people who break into telephone and computer systems simply because they can. The Pentagon calls it a cyber war. Never before have people so young had so much potential power to disrupt the systems we all rely on. But what do we really know about hackers? Are they the enemy within as the government sees them, or are they freedom fighters of the digital age? Over the next half hour, we'll take you inside their world. Meet Chameleon, a hacker who faced off with one of America's most dangerous enemies. Shamrock, role model or renegade. And Mantis, who says he can find out anything he wants about you. My name is Mantis, you know, I live in New York City. People see hackers, some fat kids sitting at home, dressed in black, could only talk technical topics, can't socialize with people. His only friends are those on the net. I don't fit the stereotype of a hacker, straight off. Hackers are not, you know, geeks sitting in front of their machines, you know, kind of fat and just eating and, you know, hacking all day. Want to let it know, we, New York City style too. Two Jiggy over here. Hey, what's going on? I'm Serena. Deranged over there. Hey, Deranged? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Deranged. A little attitude problem, but you know, it's like... It's okay, I got an attitude problem, right. too. Uh, we need to quiet. We're doing mic Yo, check. what's up? Yo, From yeah. a downtown loft, Mantis hosts a live hacker talk show that's cybercast to thousands of hackers worldwide. Yo, what's up? Yo, yo, welcome to today's edition of Parse. The show is a virtual meeting place where they can swap tips and brag about their latest exploits. What do you have going on on the show today? I have a uh, privilege to access some files. That there's some little project going on between Russia and the United States. Is it highly classified information? I don't. I don't think I've ever heard it on the news or anything like that. I mean, dealing with you know some missiles and some testing sites and you know some some serious technology. I have some confidential, classified, semi-classified, unclassified. Not even sure what type of uh, material it is. Where it came from, uh, I guess that's for me to know. Use yourself in it, you know, and you didn't, there's no parents there, there's no, there's not really people telling you, you know, what you can and can't do. At 16, Chameleon left high school and became a superstar of the hacking underground. Hi. Working from a computer in his mother's garage, he penetrated some of our government's most secure military computers. Are you on any kind of, like, par parole type thing? Or? Nah, they never, they just raided me. This is where you work? Yeah. Let me just make sure there's no, uh... Sensitive information yeah. around? It's like, hey, there's my password. Remember the first time that you were breaking into stuff? What it felt like? The first feeling, it like feels like, you know, ooh, being a teenager. Um, it's hard enough to get a voice in like school or with our parents. But if you go and you change like the main page for NASA or something telling people what's really going on, people that's going to get attention. You would assume that for one of these highly important government defense yeah, organizations, it would be a little harder to break their website. Yeah, but that's that's not true. <laughs> While no one knew his real identity online, Chameleon became notorious as his hacks became bigger and riskier until he pushed it too far. Chameleon's downfall was actually uh, one of the hacks he did into the DISA, or Defense Information Systems Agency. He actually broke into several of their systems and had control of them for well over a month. Um, and then started downloading proprietary software that the military used to control their system. Software that monitored the global positioning satellites. 
software that would control hubs, routers, and other networking equipment. He went further and further into the system, figuring out how it worked. Chameleon realized that what he was doing wasn't legal, but it got to the point where he didn't care. He was caught up in it, and that proved to be true until the very end. It's a journey that's really within yourself, walking around, knowing inside that, you know, I have a knowledge that many people don't. I feel like I'm chasing something and I don't know what it is. I, I don't think I will know until I catch it. One of Shamrock's specialties is called phone freaking, ripping off the phone company for free service and, as we found out, listening to private voicemail. Check, you're checking my voice messages? Checking my voicemails? Yeah, it's only four digits. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> like private stuff too? Well, it's, well, you have two different boxes though. Yeah. So I wasn't checking that one. How would you know I have two different boxes? I just met you. After a series of run-ins with the law in Michigan, Shamrock moved to New York. And my airport scan your land kick bang cause I can. He now serves as an unofficial advisor to scores of hackers across the country. This comes from uh, MZ at AOL and he asked, you know how to get credit card numbers? I would gladly appreciate it. Uh, this is a real lame question, man. And obviously from AOL, you are a beginner. These are questions you just don't ask, man. Hello? Hello? There Hello. you are. How you doing? Hello, yeah. What's going on? Right. What have you been up to? How's your legal legal situation, my man? Yep. There was an illegal situation? What's down with them? He was, he was a member of the NASA, NASA thing. Maybe Not this me. kid is the outcast that, you know, is outcast at school. Maybe this is his glory. He wants to be the football player that he sees every day in school, that he gets picked on every day in school. And maybe, you know, his homecoming games more spectacular than the football players because man he got into NASA he got into NORAD Can we put this up engineer this URL so, dot com oh, let's check it out fool this site was hacked and actually it was hacked by a girl <laughs> I want to run for president ideally but that's not gonna be until I'm 30 and I will be president don't, well, keep don't your worry. record clean you already told me you're in jail yeah well what yeah, did you get arrested I, for? I, Parking he said tickets? I was stuck on the show. No. Well, you really want to know? <laughs> Reckless driving, driving on suspended license, phone fraud. I'm under investigation for phone fraud and possession and assault. Your heart's beating. If you forget to breathe, you gotta breathe in. I don't know what you're getting into, but then yet again, you want to do it. You're approaching the system and you're typing in your final command. Then you're thinking about whether the other guy at the other end, you're waiting till you actually break the law before he comes and bust you. You break in somebody's system, you didn't ask him. That's, yo, that's, you know, that's not allowed. Just by having the password to his account, that's not allowed. It's all illegal. I don't think there's so much, you know, legal about hacking. Not much is legal about hacking, though it's never been easier to do, and there are hundreds of websites to show you how. While law enforcement is playing catch-up, hackers have become a global subculture of young people playing by their own rules. This is my favorite movie. I mean, this movie is just like, I've never had a favorite movie before in my life. I can't get The Matrix on DVD right now. Oh, you can? Oh, it's still in theaters. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't get it on that's VHS. True, that's true, you that's can't true, that's true, that's what I'm on. saying, yeah. Well, I don't know, a, a friend sent it to me on the net. It's all about sharing information. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, information has to be free. If Big Brother's watching me, you know, why can't he be watched also? That's why a drug tracker scans uh, police frequencies down the system or deciphering the system figuring out what the system is all about and that has that's a major theme in hacking you got to know that so you sort of got into hacking to for the wrong reasons you know and now now i'm beginning to learn what the right reasons are and i'm also learning how to influence that on the younger people this piece of I did, I knew nothing about computers. 
all I did was sell weed and like go out every night drinking 40s and like, you know, listening to loud music and staying out all night and skipping school and that's what I did. I was one of those kids that was thinking, wow, I can change my grades or I can hack into a bank and do wire transfers, that kind of thing. Like that's what, you know, the glamour of that is what drew me in. Boston hackers called Loft say there's another side to hacking. But here you can see the different plane that's coming in. This is stuff that's just transmitted in data for anyone to listen to. They say true hackers would never steal or invade someone else's privacy. Here you were listening to Serbian fighter yep. planes. Mm -hmm. Actually, this whole list has basically been uh, contributed by people around the world. Our definition of a hacker is somebody who, who wants to figure out how things work. <laughs> they were even asked to advise the government on ways to keep America's computers safe. Within 30 minutes, the seven of you could uh, make the internet unusable for the entire nation. Is that correct? That's correct. Actually, one of us with just a few packets. Pointing out flaws in the systems we all rely on is the essence of what is called the hacker ethic, which is exactly what Chameleon believed he was following when he broke into military websites and then showed them how he got in. Chameleon's ideals and theories were probably a lot more advanced than they looked like on the surface. He was trying to tell people, ask questions. There's a danger here. It's about taking, you know, like a product that everybody says is secure and showing people that it's not. Here you even tell them how to <laughs> fix what it, the way that you got in. And that's, that's what we do on most sites. Technically, it is illegal. And it's not cool to go change somebody's web page, but um, sometimes I think that the ends justify the means. Many hackers will admit to crossing the line, even when they know it's wrong. What kinds of things did you used to do? I could uh, take control of your keyboard and just on my screen I'll see what you're typing, you know, dear diary, you know, today, today was messed up, blah, 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 I'm reading all of that, or just as I'm typing just it, just as you're typing it, real time, it's power, yeah, it's, yeah, that's why, that's why I do it, because it's power. <laughs> Power that comes at a price. A hacker friend of Shamrock's was arrested, and now Shamrock is worried that he might be next. Does he need to be bailed out? Does his mom tell you anything? Does she know? Now he's on a mission to find a disc his friend left behind before the police do. We're at your friend's house? Yeah. This is uh, Creepy Chris's house. Creepy Chris? Yeah, that's what we call him. He's a, a programmer. Programmers don't get out much. What do you think you could find on this disc? The police. You know, when we're listening to them on the radio, obviously they're transmitting on a radio frequency. We know a frequency they're transmitting on because we're receiving it. Now, if you use the same theory of, uh, you know, you're, re you're retriangulating the location of a cellular phone user via the frequency that's being transmitted on. Why can't we do that with the police? So you're um, keeping tabs on them, basically, or that's what you're looking that's, to do. Ideally, that's what we want. We want on our laptop to know the location of every squad car within the nearest vicinity of whatever town we're in, whatever city we're in. Just right there. Okay, so what do you want us to do? You want us to wait down here while you go upstairs? I'll run, like seriously. piece of evidence, I'm not going to say how, but is here that we have that he is the only one that could get access okay, to. Okay, so you got access to it. Can I, can we just see it? Uh, can you uh, just show it to me? I'm not. I'm sorry. For legal reasons, I can't. The one that's headed has our been boy, taken in. boy's in jail. We'll be back. Do you want to All right, so you're going home? Uh, or somewhere? Yeah, neither. We are on, like, the single wildest goose chase I've ever been on in my entire life. Or these guys like some serious stuff that I am dying to figure out what it is. Well, we never did find out what was on that disc, and the truth is you never really know what you're dealing with when it comes to hacking. And that's something Chameleon found out when he allegedly got a hold of some software that controls our military satellites. This, this guy, like, came on chat. And so he wanted, like, the software. You know, he thought I had it or something. He was like, yeah, I want to give you a bunch of money for it, blah, blah, blah. So, um, played along with 
the guy at first because I thought it was a total joke. Later, he's he's like, you know, go check your P.O. box or whatever. So I go down there with my friend. And it was like a thousand dollars, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, what the heck? All of a sudden, all this mischief he was causing behind this screen in his parents' bedroom became a reality, and it became a reality to him in a harsh way. They had us surrounded. They had uh, FBI all on this wall. I felt the gun to my head. That's what woke me up because I'm a pretty sound sleeper. The next thing I know, I see my sister getting pushed out on the stairs. And then in the room up there, my mom's coming out of the shower with this little towel around her. And that kind of like is, you know, to see your mom, like all these, you know, agents and whoever guys down here. And then your mom going across and like this tiny towel is kind of, you know, pisses you off a lot. You ripped me right out of the shower, 7 o'clock in the morning. Coming after... Coming a after, cyber terrorist? Coming out after this one here, who was the, you know, he was go, he was selling, what do they think, you're selling secrets to uh, Some. Ben Lawman in Afghanistan. The thousand dollar check in Chameleon's P.O. box turned out to be from a Pakistani terrorist linked to Osama Bin Laden. Bin Laden is thought to be responsible for the bombings of two U.S. embassies that killed over 200 people. Chameleon was the first incident that has come to the public of a foreign terrorist organization contacting a teenager in the United States trying to buy military secrets. And I think terrorists are going to start to realize the same thing that our U.S. government has began to realize, and that is our systems have problems. to the end of the internet and back. Over the course of my years, I've done everything possible. I've done the good, I've done the bad. I'm more on the good end now. Mantis has managed to keep his record clean. He even teaches a class at his high school. So for all of y'all being good students, you all passed, because you all have uh, pages up on the net. There you go. Yo, keep up with that. There are people making like a lot of money for that. If you learn it up more, I'll give you a job making some, some dough. I'm really focused. I'm going off to college. I'm going somewhere, and, and I don't, I don't want to do anything wrong to mess it up. What has it been about your life that's made you able to not fall into some of the traps that some of the people that you know have fallen into? If I do any of those things from the past, I'll really go out of my way to make sure that, you know, none of that's coming back to me. Can you cover your tracks? It is, yeah, definitely possible to cover your tracks. So now if there is anything that you're doing that's illicit and illegal, you at least know how to make sure no one knows you're doing it. Yes. You know, over like the last few years and like basically ever since I got into hacking, it's just been kind of like a wild ride or, you know, somewhat of a movie. Oh, we're on the Vegas Strip and tomorrow morning around 9 or so we're going to head over to the Las Vegas Convention Center thing for the conference. After the raid, I started thinking a lot different about like my life and like what I wanted to you know start doing with it and then you know turn things around. It's gonna be a bunch of the uh, business types and such, so I'll fit in pretty good with the blue hair. These days, Chameleon is living the hacker dream, creating security software for companies to protect themselves from people just like him. We basically are creating software that has, you know, somewhat of a hacker brain to it, it's smarter than the rest um, in the way that it can think for itself and actually find holes. we met up with Shamrock, he was on a mission to find a disc before the police did. Well, he found it, but shortly after, the police also found him. Just got out of jail? Yeah. Last uh, night? Yeah, last night around 6. I got questioned about three separate incidents, completely unrelated to one another, and completely, you know... What are you being charged I with? I have no idea. All I know is I have to go to court next week. You have no idea what you're being charged well, with? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm being charged with. What did they tell you that you were being they charged told me with? They told me the attempted wire fraud for the Bell Atlantic. Um, I have a, uh, a drug charge with uh, intent to distribute. 
are you a good guy or a bad like you know there people, is no such thing there is no such there is thing no, as a good guy and a bad guy all the good guy. guys are bad guys too and all the bad guys are good guys too nothing is really clear cut about it not at all and that goes for anything whether you're involved with computers or cops or tv or wall street or whatever This may be one of the most powerful inventions in history. It literally can put the world at your fingertips. But for many, the boundaries are just too vague and the temptation's too great to not test the limits. Which can be a thrill and can even further technology, but it can also be dangerous. You can crash a system, end up in jail, or just ruin someone's day. My account has been hacked by hackers. They think it's sort of funny. They've um, hacked into my account, but it's not funny. The last couple times I tried to sign on, it said, You're, that's not your password. Wrong password, wrong password. I'm angry and violated and frustrated and powerless and annoyed. Oh, now you're going to check my password. <laughs> oh! That's a deceiving sound. Now what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, enough. <laughs>